If you guys are sick of wasting money on packs, go check out my sponsor. They offer the cheapest and most reliable way to buy coins straight from the source. Use code MAZE at checkout for 15% off your entire order. No money spent, man. Oh, apologies on my end because it's been a while since I've updated you guys. So if you haven't been watching my Twitch streams and staying up to date on Twitch, then you're probably in the dark and don't know what's going on. So over the last week or two, we've definitely made a few upgrades and we've changed our entire scheme as well. On top of that, we got a lot of training. We got a lot of coins. And so I'm going to do a few more things and show you guys some of the better players you can get right now for free. And then we'll hop into some gameplay with the team after that. And I'll show you guys my new offensive scheme. If you guys have been in the Twitch streams, you know we've been trying to find a new offense for the last few weeks. And because of that, we've just been rotating between playbooks, trying out new schemes pretty much every stream. And we haven't been doing very well, but I finally found something that I feel like we can win in. And it's something I think I'm going to be in for the rest of the year. So if you guys are ready for that, it's the Rams playbook. And we'll go over that more in the gameplay. So first things first, checking in with the team we got right now. I've already mentioned our training and our coins. So we'll be making a few more upgrades over the course of this video. But this is the team right now as it is. Kyler Murray is probably the biggest change we made. We went away from Derrick Henry to Kyler Murray. There wasn't a real reason for that other than he's a little bit cheaper. We're using Pass Lead Elite and Escape Artist on him for 8 AP. I would love to use Gunslinger. However, for my route abilities and the other things I need on my offense, I don't really think I can afford Gunslinger. We might try to go towards Gunslinger uh, as we move forward in this offense and maybe try to figure out ways around needing route abilities. But right now, especially because I'm in a new offense, I need the route abilities more than ever. It's very difficult to run a new offense when you don't even have extra hot routes as it is. So we definitely need route abilities right now. And then the route abilities we are actually using are uh, wide receiver apprentice on Jerry Judy and then slot apprentice on Vernon Davis. We're running a lot of tight flex. And so Vernon Davis actually isn't on the line of scrimmage. He's off and is considered a slot receiver. Because of that, we got to have slot apprentice on him and not tight end apprentice. I don't really like that. And I'm going to see if there's a way that we can get around that by maybe going back to a hot route master quarterback or something like that. But that's what we're rocking for the time being ability-wise. Another addition we made to the offense is we got this left guard, Roger Saffold the third. The main reason we got him was because he was free. And I'll show you guys the solo challenges in a minute. But he gets every AFC team's chemistry. So because we run a Broncos theme team, he plugged right in, replaced my weakest old lineman, and gets a team chemistry for my theme team. Just worked out perfectly. Another change we've made to the team is we are replacing our Debo Samuel running back with Javante Williams. We had the 89 Debo Samuel for the longest time. And during the Zero Chill promo, he got that boost in speed. So he was an okay card. But after that, I think he was at like 92, 93 speed. Just wasn't really cutting it anymore. Javante Williams actually fits into the Broncos theme team, obviously, as you can tell. And he's very, very fast. So in total, we're probably spending about 150K on this guy between his other cards and training. And as you can see, he's got 97 speed. That is a very good deal for me. That's about as good as it gets at running back right now. 99 Excel, also phenomenal out of the backfield. 95 break tackle, 95 truck, 93 change in direction. Overall, just a very good budget card, especially because he fits on the theme team. So looking at our finalized offense now, we got Vernon Davis and Javante Williams with 97 speed each. We got Judy and Lance Allworth with 99 speed and Tim Patrick has 98 speed. So we're getting to the point where we're at that upper limit of speed where we're pretty much going to be able to be competitive with any team. There's not really a team that's going to have a huge advantage of us on the offensive side of the ball. Now, defense, a little bit different because there's a lot more DBs on the field where that speed is going to come into play. We got Ty Law and full Patrick Sertan with both 99 speed on our outside corners, which is probably the most important to me to have high speed. You see 99 speed, 99 excel, 99 jump, 99 man, 99 zone, and 98 press at six foot two. This Patrick Sertan is about as good as it gets. He's end game as fuck, not that expensive, fits into the theme team, just a match made in heaven. Honestly, one of the main reasons I made this theme team in the first place was because of this card. And now he's at his full potential. We're all good. And our outside corners are absolutely locked down. Our third corner right now, we have Cordero Patterson. He's not very fast. And honestly, he's a huge liability. If you're running no money spent, I think this card is a must have. And it's very easy to get. Everybody can get him. You just go over to the Super Bowl sets. You go over to your Super Bowl pass. And at the very bottom, there's this Rasul Douglas NCAT card. Now, he's obviously NCAT, so you can't make any coins off this. But you have all the pieces for free to put in to the set. It's a 95 overall cornerback, 97 speed, pretty tall, a really good card, and everybody gets them just from what EA was already giving you. So we put in those few uh, free players they gave us, the 88 overalls, and now we got our Rasul Douglas, and we already have the training to power him up. So it appears that because Rasul Douglas is free, his 87 overall is going for quite a bit more than it should be. 80K is not something I really want to pay right now, so if you guys are in this situation, I would recommend going back, finding your 87, 88 power up pass, and taking it out, because I don't think... 
any other 87s on my team are going to be this expensive. So mine happens to be inside of Micah Kaiser. Um, not a very important player on my team. I don't even think he sees a field. So I just took it out of him, and I knew that it was in there because I'm keeping track of it. If you guys are not already, keep track of your power-up passes in, like, your phone or something. Every time you put it in a card, you're going to think you remember, but you will forget because there are so many of them and your team changes so much, you will not remember. So write it in your phone every time you put it in a player, and that way when you need it, like I need it now, you can go back and get it. Well, it looks like his 92 is 108,000, which is quite a bit as well. Now, my 92 pass is not as easy to get out. It's in Vernon Davis, who also goes for a lot. So I think I'm going to have to find out a way to make 5K and then just take the bite on this 92 actually something i can do for some quick coins that you guys might be able to do as well is quick sell my legend strategy items now you get these when you do the legend solos to get your free legend player they don't really do anything i don't use them and they just added the ability to quick sell them i believe they go for 2k a pop which is really nice so i'm going to quick sell all the ones i got because uh, i'm never going to use them and it's just free coins sitting in my binder i got 37k out of it so here we go 98 overall rasul douglas relatively free obviously i powered him up all the way so I spent about 100, 125K between the training and then that 92 card we just bought. But 97 speed, 99 play rec, and 99 zone coverage is fantastic for a card that I didn't have to spend that much more on. And even though he's only plus one speed, a lot of his other stats that matter to me, like zone coverage, are much higher than Cordell Patterson. So overall, I think Rasul Douglas is going to be a phenomenal addition to this team. I'm excited to replace that bum ass Cordero. Also, he's six foot two. Height is super important this year. Maybe the most important stat besides speed. And so uh, having Rasul Douglas out there, a tall boy, I like it. Another big addition we made was DeForest Buckner, 96 overall defensive tackle. He's non-auctionable or tradable. We got him for free through the Team of the Year solo challenges. So these solo challenges right here, Team of the Year, when you get 100 stars, you get a Team of the Year fantasy pack. It gives you three offense, three defense, and one special teams player. You get to choose the one you want the most. I believe if it says right there, at 100 stars, 96 overall. So you can't get the 97 guys, but obviously for no money spent team, 96 is more than okay. The reason I chose this D tackle is not only because he's a great card. I mean, 97 finesse move, 88 speed, 6'7", 300 pounds. He's a big boy who can move, and he's got pretty good stats behind that. But I also was thinking if I was going to take a uh, receiver or a DB of some kind, especially if they weren't a part of the Broncos, they're going to be non auctionable or tradable. And so I'm going to have to try to use him as long as possible to force buckner at d tackle i can kind of hide the speed because i don't need that speed boost like i would at a receiver or a corner and on top of that i don't really care about upgrading my d tackle very much i don't even need to power him up so it's just a non-auctionable or tradable player that i could throw at my d tackle position and be pretty solid through the rest of the year now obviously i don't think he's gonna be my end end result d tackle but for now he's uh he's good to go for the next couple months you also might be noticing we upgraded von miller a little bit he's at a 94 overall right now which obviously isn't as high as we can get him but this 96 card uh i don't know how much it's gonna go for but it was very expensive i obviously didn't have the coins for it but at the 94 version still a good card 88 speed 94 block shed 93 power move and 92 finesse move so von miller is okay on the D-line. Not a bright spot, but he's better than he was. The bright spot for us is DeMarcus Ware. They actually just released a new DeMarcus Ware. So even though I thought I had him all the way powered up, there is a new one that will give me plus two on most of my stats. Plus one or plus two. Uh, so I'm not really in a rush to upgrade him. Like I said, it's a very expensive card. And if you just look at this card before it's at its full version, 95 speed, 95 block shed, 93 power move, 96 finesse move. This guy is super, super good. Definitely my best defensive lineman. Um, and I want the other guys to get upgraded, obviously, before I need to upgrade him anymore. So I think my next goal for the D-line would probably be to get the full Von Miller because I think Von Miller right now is the weak spot uh, between those three. And then the last change we've made to the team is this Derwin James card right here. Now, I don't have him powered up all the way, so he's only at a 95, and he's only at 97 speed. But the reason I'm keeping him here and not powered up is because of the abilities he has baked in. He's got Acrobat, Pick Artist, and Mid-Zone KO. Those are all abilities I already want to use. Unfortunately, I only have the AP to fit in two of the three there. I can get Acrobat and Pick Artist or Acrobat and Mid-Zone. Can't use all three. So Derwin getting all three for the same price of two. Beautiful thing, and I will gladly take the minus one on all his stats to not have to power him up, and that way I can use the uh, AP saving abilities right there. But even non-powered up, non-themed team non-powered up he's got 97 speed 97 zone 97 hit power and his man coverage isn't that bad for a safety at 87 it's obviously not great but 
he can do it. I also don't have my last strategy item for safeties. So all my safeties are only plus one speed. Once I get that last strategy item, he'll be at 98 speed and it won't really even be an issue at all. I don't plan on upgrading this guy at all. The way I got this Derwin was through the sets and watching the MCS tournament on Twitch. So if you were linking your Twitch and your EA account and you watched the big tournament that EA put on, you got tokens from watching. Three tokens got you this Derwin James card. And if you watched every tournament all year and you got all the free players that they released at each tournament, you're going to be entitled to a free 97 overall card that is getting created, I believe, today when the video is getting released. So basically, the idea is whoever wins the Madden Bowl is going to get to design their own card that viewers will get for watching so i actually didn't watch enough because i created this account so late in the year that i didn't have the earlier token so i'm not gonna be able to get that card but this derwin james is uh is free regardless team's looking really solid i honestly feel like we could pretty much compete with any team even though it's not like the top top tier players uh they're good enough and i don't ever really feel like i'm at that big of a disadvantage the last thing i do want to talk about is my playbook i mentioned earlier in the video i just switched to the la rams offensive playbook i'm planning on sticking in this now the last thing we're gonna do to upgrade this team is instead of just playing head-to-head -head with the team i'm actually gonna be playing house rules First to 56 wins and la, 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 a lot of fun little rules to switch up the game. I don't care about having fun in this. I'm really only playing it because, as you can see on the screen, 20 wins gets you a 95 overall Super Bowl hero. So that's really what I'm shooting for. So looking at the players I can get, it's going to be one of these guys that will be non actionable tradable. Matt Ryan, definitely no. Linval Joseph, no. Zach Ertz, no. Slow-ass bitch. Malik Jackson, this card right here, obviously a Broncos player, might be worth it for me. And I could maybe even think about replacing somebody like Von Miller or DeMarcus Ware. I don't think I'd replace DeMarcus Ware, probably Von Miller. But this guy gets 95 power move, only 85 speed. But if we powered him up, this card wouldn't be too bad. Ideally, I think we would want a little more speed on an edge rusher. But because he's free, uh, it wouldn't be the end of the world and he fits in our scheme. So we'll keep him in mind. Tyran Matthews, obviously another one that comes to mind as somebody who might be desirable here. 94 speed, Tyron Matthew for us would be 96 speed. So definitely not him. Especially because Tyron Matthew's only 5'9". I don't want somebody that short on my field anywhere. So Tyron Matthew, I'm gonna have to take a pass on you. Marshawn Lynch might be a solid backup halfback. 94 speed isn't terrible, but because he's not a Bronco, he's not gonna get any speed boost for me. And the more I'm looking at this, honestly, I'm thinking like the wins might not even be worth it. David Andrews, at center, we already have a Broncos center who's really good. So we don't really need him. Middle linebackers don't see my field. And you know what, guys? The more I look at this, I mean, unless I take Malik Jackson, I don't really think I want any of these other cards. Like, they wouldn't even make any type of impact on this team, so it wouldn't be worth it. I'd rather just play head-to-head, -head, get the coins. I'm going to take a second. I'm going to think about Malik a little bit, and uh, I'll uh, check back up with you guys. So Von Miller's upgrade is going for, like, 500K. I honestly think I'm not going to be able to afford this guy for a, a while. So... I might go play that house rules. I'm going to go do it. I'm going to get Malik Jackson. He's going to replace Vaughn for the time being. And then hopefully in a month or two, we can get the full version of Vaughn. So it says no blitz. Uh, I don't really know what that means. But the goal of this game mode is to get to 56 points. And everything's boosted. Now, thankfully for me, I have one play touchdown that beats uh, every coverage in the game. So I think I'll probably be getting through these pretty quickly or maybe quick quicker than your average person and the fun part is if you want to learn that one play touchdown that is uh posted on my channel as a short so you can go watch the short and go learn how to do it in like 30 seconds now this is really interesting the two point conversion is worth i think they said 18 points and uh as you can see you gotta do it from the 25 and i did not realize that when i called this play looks like lance allworth might be open that's actually a crazy bag yeah. I guess we'll take not converting. Jesus, I did not realize it was from the 25. But I guess you're not allowed to blitz. I'm seeing this little this little wall right here. You're not allowed to blitz. What? Is, I don't understand. Well, I'll take a fumble. I think we just won off that. We got the fumble. You see, we're at 42 points now. All we got to do is score, and we won. So one touchdown is going to win it. We're going to run the bomb. We're going to roll out. That's a laser. Oh, my God, bro. Oh, hell no. It was a laser. Come on, EA. What are we doing? I'm going to be honest with you. I, I'm kind of retarded. That was unfortunate. I'm um, not super thrilled about that. Good thing we got lasers. Good fucking job, EA. What are we doing? I mean, Jesus, that's ridiculous. I throw two touchdowns back to back. Just get absolutely whored. Make it three in a row. Huh? 
GG's, buddy. On to the next one. On to game two. I still don't under... Like, am I allowed to blitz? I'm gonna look at them. I'm gonna see if they... I'm gonna see if they come come free off the edge. It might... You know what it is? It might be because of there's a glitch. Okay, so the blitzes work. There's no rule against blitzing. But I remember there was a glitch that uh, was in house rules. And this must be their workaround for that. Where you basically just can't blitz up the middle. So we'll keep that in mind. But I also think we're just gonna shit on this guy. So I'm not really too concerned about it. <laughs> GG's, bro. Hey, these 20 wins are gonna go fast. We keep playing like this. I don't know if I like this play design, but I don't really have any others that would allow me to score from the 25 Vernon. Looks like you're gonna toast your man. And that's GG's again. You know, hey, maybe I like house rules. This is fun. All right, it looks like game three, we matched up with the same guy. And judging how the last game gone, I'm not mad about it. I'm not mad at all. As long as we get a little bit of time here. Just easy money, just bombs away. You guys know the drill. We fuck bombs. We throw moms. You like that? Nope. Dude, it... See ya! GG's! On to the next one! Alright, our next game is against someone by the name of Madden Star 222 And anybody with a Madden-specific gamer tag usually is pretty good at the game. And this guy might be the exception to that rule. Alright, man. He's playing with fire. He's playing with fire, dude. I don't like this. I don't like the way this is going at all. And I don't know why I have momentum right now when he's just dotting my soul away. For some reason, it's like thinking that I'm doing good. Dude, I'm not... I can't stop this guy. But I can get a fumble! We lay the... <laughs> we wait... <laughs> I was trying to say we lay the lumber. But then in my head, I thought like we lay the wood. And then I ended up saying like we weigh the, l the loot. I'm kind of retarded. You know the vibes, baby. It's 1-800-CLOCK-CLEANERS. You call us, we clean your clock. Right after that, we will fuck your mother. Right after we throw the bomb. It's like a clean the clock, throw the bomb, fuck the mom. That's just like what we do. That's just what we do. He's out of here. He's out of here. See ya, Madden Star. See ya. Can anybody compete with us? Doesn't seem like it. All right, depend on Jay. What do you say? Are you gonna give us? Are you gonna give us a good match? You gonna give us a good matchup, Jay? Huh? You think you can you can keep up with my boys, Jay? Fuck! Jesus, Jay! Get the fuck out of here, bitch! Oh man! Oh man! Am I just the best? What the hell is that? I mean, he's running match coverage, and honestly, it's kind of just bagging my freaking soul away, bro. So Lance Allworth, can you get open for the one time, please? Can you not let it get hit out? Thank you. How does 99 speed get ran down? Really? Really? What are fumbles like tuned up in this mode or something? What was that about? <laughs> and we're right back, man. Brian Doggins, I don't know how you played that. You are a crackhead. All right, guys, time to get active. Time to go crazy. Time to dot his life away. Is circle going to be open late? Right. Laser! I knew it! Now to seal the deal. Let's seal the deal. Yep. Emotional damage. Almost said done. All right, now let's really seal the deal. All right, Javante, how about you catch the fucking ball, Javante? How does it sound? You want a touchdown? You got it. I just called my only timeout because everyone on my team is tired. I don't know if they, like, boosted, like, fatigue or something. But you can see after timeout, they are still tired. But this two-point play right here is for the victory. So it's important. If we get this, we win. So guess what? Let's get this. We don't want to give Jay any chances here. That's a beam and a half, bro. Judy, get the feet in. And we'll call that one GG's. So that's five wins, I think. Five uh, dominant wins, if I'll say so myself. I'll check in with you guys when we have all 20. All right, and we got it. 20 wins. I got to say, that took a little longer than anticipated, but... Hour, hour and a half, I think you should be good if you are a good player. If you're a bad player, it might take you like four or five hours. I honestly don't know. But we already know who's in this pack. We already know who we're taking. Malik Jackson, welcome to the team. 
I hope you are worth it, brother. All right, boys. So that is going to do it for today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. I will hopefully not keep you guys in the dark with my no money spent upgrades moving forward. All I really need to do is just make a quick video telling you guys what I change. If you guys want to know the most up-to-date stuff and ask me questions about the team or what I'm running, I stream off my no money spent account on Twitch all the time at twitch.tv slash Mazomatic. Maybe see you over there. Maybe see you in tomorrow's video. CFM playoffs. See you there, baby. Now I'm on the outside.